Hi, I'm Joe DiGiulio with another Jerry's Quick Lesson. Today we're going to be working with Matisse variety of gessos they have. There's four in all. There's the black gesso, the regular white gesso, we've got right here the low viscosity gesso, and also kind of an unusual product, transparent gesso. Why? It dries transparent. But we're going to show you that it's got an application to be used for other things. I've got a blank Da Vinci uh, panel here. I'm going to use that to show you the gessoing technique. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use a little bit of the low viscosity gesso. Uh, what gesso is, to get started, it is a, a barrier primer between the substrate, whether it is a panel or canvas or paper, and the actual paint film, whether we use acrylics or oils. Especially is required when we're going to use oils, where the oils will actually rot a paper or canvas. That's why the gesso is actually created. Also, because it's wet, when it dries, it'll actually be a tightener for that canvas, so you'll have really good spring on the canvas too after the primer has been applied. The low viscosity gesso, why I'm using that is because I don't have to introduce any water. Gessos typically are a little bit thicker and water has to be used. However, I will use a straight up gesso when I want to make an application where I'm going to actually get, because I'm an abstract artist, some textures. I can actually have textures that have been created using gesso on the, for, on the foreground before any paint has been applied. In this case, we've used the regular gesso here, and in this case, the black gesso. It's just going to give you a colored background. They also have several other colors that are background colors. We're going to talk about those in another uh, lesson, but actually what they also are, are a gesso-like formulation that allows you to have color on the background, and it has some other properties too. But what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of this. You see it's got a very nice creamy buttery texture to it. Then my three inch primer brush, I'll use that. But the low viscosity really flows a lot better for me. And I want to use this hard panel surface. When you're using a lot of heavy body mediums, and pasto mediums, molding paces, things of that nature, canvas might not be able to support that. And by using a rigid panel like the Da Vinci panel here, it allows us to do that. Plus, the one thing I do love is I love how these Da Vinci panels look when they're put in an illusion frame. There, I just want to get that started. You let it dry, and then you're going to head and put another coat on there. Uh, now, uh, one technique I do to get my ridge, I'll take a palette knife. In this case, I'm using the T6 Creative Mark palette knife. And I like to just pull it around with the gessos. When you get to the thicker body ones, like the regular or the black gesso, it's very thick and it's going to allow you to retain peaks in the substrate. You can see here in the black one where we have these textured effects. Remember, you're just using this as a barrier between the paint film and the substrate. But for me, if I want textures, Gesso is a lot more value conscious than using some of these more expensive mediums, molding pastes that other manufacturers use. I like to use the gesso to create my textures because then I can just paint a veneer of paint over the top rather than clumping a lot of paint. It reduces my drying time so my process can be, I can go through my process and get my work finished quicker. Anything I don't like, I can just wipe right away. The great thing about these, if I don't want any streaking, I can introduce a little bit of water to it. And that water will help the self-leveling properties. It'll take a little bit longer to dry, but not that much. It's not really an issue. I want to make sure, because I'm going to put this in a floater frame, the edge will kind of be shown, so I'm going to make sure I get the edge as well. 
don't know if you can see that right there, but just run your brush right along the edge. Also, it's a great sealer too. Nice thing about these Da Vinci panels is that they're, not, they're already notched right in the back for being able to pre-hung. That's a pretty nice little feature I like about them. Now I'll sit up and let that dry and that'll be great for an later on application. Let it dry and then I can go ahead and start using paint body on it. So then is the low viscosity gesso. You're going to record peaks with the white as you will with the black, just whatever color you want as your background. People say, well, why black? Well, very interesting effects can take place if you're using, say, the uh, Matisse iridescent medium with your color, because that has a very translucent kind of look to it, and the black really lets it pop off the canvas. Another thing for the black background is that when you're painting, if you have one field of color when it bumps up to another field of color, if there's a little space in there, in a normal one that's not been uh, uh, added any gesso or textures to, you see white come through and it's not as interesting. The little lines of black that might come through add a little bit more of an interesting effect to the piece as a whole. So you use the black for that, and anytime you're doing iridescence, I ask you to go ahead and try that for that. Very interesting. The white, typical, the low viscosity, and that brings us to this very interesting final one. The transparent gesso can be mixed with Matisse background colors to create a pastel primer on paper. Very interesting. What it does is it adds a tooth. There's a little bit of grittiness in the gesso that will add a little bit of tooth to the background colors. So I will take that and normally transparent gesso if I wanted to just say I want to use a birch panel and I want that grain of wood to show through as my background. In this case, I'm going to again use the transparent gesso for that because when it dries, yes, it goes in milky white, but when it dries, it'll be absolutely clear. Uh, once it's clear, you're ready to go. Give it a good 24 hours. So taking that, that's your four basic gessos that you can use uh, from uh, Matisse Derivan. I hope you've enjoyed this segment, and you can always get all of these at jerryzotorama.com. Again, I'm Joe DiGiulio. Thanks for stopping in.